Shakeup in the mining world continues. Chris Valerio down at the markets desk with a look at this story. Chris? Hey, Eric. Well, this mining industry often seen as the wild west of industry. So if that personification holds true, then this would be uh, the so-called cowboys gearing up for the draw here. Two more companies throw in their hats in the ring. News this morning that Vale do Rio Doce, so this is the world's largest iron ore producer, and also Aluminum Corp of China, considering acquisitions of Extrata or Anglo-American. Now, to recap, again, remember, Extrata made a $40 billion bid for Anglo-American last week. It's an attempt to take more of the market share. Uh, the proposed transaction the largest since BHP Bill and abandoned uh, talks to try to uh, take over Rio Tinto back in 2008. Now, last week, Anglo's board rejecting that offer, and and this week, news that people are tr more people trying to get into these two companies. So, why are Extrata and Anglo American so attractive right now to all these big miners? Well, first off, of course, uh, relative to where they were trading last year, they're just really cheap at this point. But secondly, Extrata and Anglo American are really the only two companies left in the world that would allow the acquirer to compete with BHP Billeting, with Rio Tinto, or Valle del Rio Doce with only one acquisition. So these are big companies. You can make one acquisition and really become a world player. Uh, now, what we're seeing right now, the careful dance among these uh, miners, not a very graceful one considering they're huge companies. And we did have some comments out from analysts, uh, specifically some analysts saying that Vale should hold on to its cash position, which right now stands at about $12 billion, rather than bidding for Extrata and Anglo-American. Uh, shareholders, including BlackRock, specifically William Landers, they're saying it's going to be risky if the global Recession because the global recession has really deepened demand for those commodities, those raw materials, uh, and he says we're not completely out of the woods, but certainly a story that people are watching within that mining industry. Deirdre, Chris, thanks for the very latest, as she mentioned there in mining.